Welcome to Spotlight this week and uh, just a few things that are going on uh, during the week and into next week. One of the things is that we're coming up to Pentecost, which is the celebration when the church was first formed. The Holy Spirit poured out on ordinary people like you and me and uh, they were so different that uh, the, the, the good news of Jesus just spread and spread. We're going to celebrate that every Sunday for the next four Sundays. Uh, we're going to use some material that we've, we've learned from Spring Harvest, so all ages are going to be involved in this. So look out for various different aspects of Pentecost in the next month or so. We're going to be kicking off, though, on next Tuesday, uh, 7.30, we're going to have a Zoom prayer meeting. We're going to pray together, not in an upper room, wherever we are, but we're going to come together and pray and ask the Holy Spirit to fill us individually and our church. So love to see you there at that, if you can join us for that. Hi, I'm Diane and this is Liz Hi. and we're part of the team that are um, enabling all our wonderful volunteers to have the food donation bins outside houses. Um, so we just thought we'd give you an update of what's, what's going on. Um, so since Charlie's video last week, we've literally doubled the number of bins um, and there's some still waiting to come online. So Liz is the kind of admin side, so she um, does all the laminating and the printing, um, which has become quite a big job, Liz, hasn't oh, it? Oh, it has. It's um, it up. But she's got a very well-oiled machine going on here now. So um, in terms of bins, we're now up to 62 bins um, and possibly more by the end of this week. Meals given out have kind of plateaued over the last couple of weeks at about 3,000 but that's not to say that they won't increase again and when you think that before lockdown we were doing under a thousand that's quite an increase. It's isn't it? very much a high increase. Yeah. Um, so we still have room to have more people on board with the bins so if it's something you'd like to be involved in feel free to e email us at officeofhelp at risingbrook.org or ring the church centre. Um, what we're finding is that it's not just about um, helping people physically with their food, that it's making loads of connections around neighbourhoods, that people are chatting um, and really wanting to be involved. I've even heard of a couple of people, um, one, one who had bins, uh, one was given a cake um, for just for being generous and hosting the bin and the other was given chocolates. <laughs> That's not a reason to do it. Um, but it just feels like a cycle of generosity and kindness and connecting. So if that's something you'd like to be involved in, please feel free to get in touch. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to join us for midday prayers every weekday on Risingbrook's Facebook page or at risingbrook.org forward slash midday. And tune in on Thursday night at 7.30pm for the next instalment of Worship in Exile. So that's it. Um, hope to see you on Sunday morning where we're going to kick off this Unleashed, Church Unleashed series. Have a fantastic weekend. So this week I have been thinking about um, Pete Gilbert's message um, and the three questions that he left us with, which is, um, where is your bothy? Uh, what blessings can you count? And make sure you have some sailor moments. And so I'm hoping that for us um, this will be a sailor moment um, and I just want to read this for you. Go peaceful in gentleness through the violence of these days. Give freely, show tenderness in all of your ways. Through darkness, in troubled times, let holiness be your aim. Seek wisdom, let faithfulness burn like a flame. God speed you, God lead you and keep you wrapped around his heart. May you be known by love. Be righteous, speak truthfully in a world of greed and lies. Show kindness and see everyone through heaven's eyes. God hold you and enfold you and keep you wrapped around his heart. May you, may we be known by love. Amen. <laughs>